Okay, what's going on guys and welcome back. So today I'm actually just going to do a really quick video continuing off the power cable for the amplifier. So this time I'm actually just going to show you how to get to your actual rear deck and then from there you can actually replace either the subby or the two surround speakers in your rear deck or even you can get to your third brake light. Now I'm not going to do that this time because my third brake light isn't even broken but however from here you can get to your third brake light really easily and it's not got that hard at all once you get to this step it's just getting here that's the hard part okay so let's get straight into it okay so if you watch my other video I'll actually show you how to get to this step right here when it comes to removing this part here and then simply pulling off the rear deck okay so first thing you want to do here is there's a clip inside here okay I'll actually show you after and what you want to do is it slides in like this okay so it's kinda of like a square hexagon shape and it slides in that way and there's another one here so what you want to do is grab it here and pull it this way out so you want to pull it like that like this there we go now it is a bit rough but it can get to it and there we go okay now let me show you exactly what it looks like okay as you can see here this part here slides right onto this part here you see that hexagon style shape that is what actually sits inside here okay that's why you actually have to pull it this way and then there's another one right here as you can see and then you just slide it out pull it out a bit and then slide it out and it will actually come off like you just saw okay then you do the exact same thing to the other side so you just want to pull it out this way diagonal kind of towards you and kind of wiggle it a bit so it comes off it there we go and there you go and see this these clips here this is what clips in on the rear deck at the on the ends of it so that's why you can actually pull it out so as you pull it out you just want to lift it up because you can see how it clips in you know for those of you who are actually visual that's how it clips in so what you want to do is you want to get it out of there because you see how this part here clips in so you want to pull it out a bit and then you can lift it out and that's it now we can just pull off the rear deck okay and now from here it's really simple you have these two rubber clips here and then you just pull this off like so and then you get something that can part this push clip like that I normally just use something like this where it has like a fork and the purpose here is to get in between the clip like that okay so you want to get in between the clip like that as you can see and you just pry it up so that it will separate the clip like this so it's just a push clip and the rubber just sits over the top of it like this so you can just pull the rubber off first like so I'll show you again on this side so here you just pull the rubber off and then you get your fork like tool get it in between like so and then just pull it out and then the clip comes out now don't lose any of this so make sure you keep it all together and now this part is really simple you can actually just take these off completely okay look but you don't have to so what you want to do now is seeing as you've already removed both sides you just have to lift it over it like so and then pull it out and it will just come straight out so what you want to do is lift it over these uh, rear seat clips and then it just slides out and as you can see from here hold on I've just got something stuck there we go so this is all that's clipping in and it sits along here there's actually nothing connecting it so you just have to make sure you lift these over the rear door latch the rear seat uh, back rest latch and then you just have to lift it over it it's really easy you just have to pull it out just pull it out 
lift it over this and then just pull it out and you'll see just that slowly starts to come out and then from here you have this foam piece and then you can just lift it up out of place as you can see you just lift it and then that's the foam piece removed and now from here now you can actually get access to your rear brake light which is right there okay and now from here as you can see is one two three four and five see that one in the back corner right there right here okay there's five one two three four five plastic screws so you have to be very careful actually they're not torques they're Phillips okay so you got to be very careful when you remove these and then from here once you remove it all you have to do is pull it back and then it will release and then you can just get to your brake light and it'll be as easy as that to fix that's it the most important part was getting to this part okay and that's it guys now I'm actually going to show you how to reinstall everything okay and then say if you were going to replace your rear subby for whatever reason or you wanted to remove it you have two T20 torque screws here so you just have to undo these two and then there's another one on the other side on underneath so I'll show you where that is okay and so just under here you see that one right there you just have to undo that one and then a bit loose we can begin to take it off okay and now that you've removed these two bolts and the one underneath from the boot compartment you can actually just disconnect it here and then begin to take it all out just lift it up and there you go that's how you remove the rear subby and then I just wanted to show you how you would also remove the other rear surround speaker if you just look over here to this one here all you have to do in order to remove this there's actually no screws at all for this rear surround you just have to turn it counterclockwise and that's it it's just hooked in from these two tabs and then there's these two holes here that it sits in there's three actually there's there's these three tabs one two and three and all you do is you line them up and then you just turn it clockwise to lock it back in and that's how that rear speaker sits in as you can see so to remove it you just turn it counterclockwise and then there is a plug just inside here and all you'd have to do is pull it out and that's how you disconnect this rear surround speaker in case you have to replace it for whatever reason okay and that's it that's all there is to it guys and then now to reinstall everything back again I just wanted to show you guys how to remove it okay so now we're going to reinstall it all back in okay so we line it up and turn it so the way to install it you want it to be angling this way okay you want the speaker to angle this way and that's how you get it back in you line the three tabs up there's one there's a hole here a hole here and a hole here so there's one two three holes you line them up with these three holes here these three tabs like so one two and three and then just turn it clockwise and that's how you lock it back in and then to in order to reinstall this if you look underneath there's actually two holes that sit straight on top of these plastic tabs here one and two where my thumbs are you just have to line them up like so okay and that will let you know that you've got it in the right place to reinstall it and while you have it off obviously there's actually just two torque screws that hold this in place and then you can remove it and replace that if you need to there's no point showing you because it's really straightforward okay and then all we have to do now is replace the screws one and two now do not tighten them until you've lined up the one in the boot 
once you line up the two uh, the two tabs inside on the rear deck this is just going to line straight up anyway so same process of removing it only this time lefty loosey righty tidy we want to turn it to the right and tighten it down and then once you have this one down you can tighten down the other two but just make sure you double check that you actually have it in the right position before you tighten everything down that way it makes it easier to line everything up okay now I haven't got this one completely flush yet or all the way screwed in I'm gonna check the other two and come back okay so I'm just gonna screw these other two ones down a little bit just to make sure that they're in the right place that's a good rule of thumb for everyone as well so when you're tightening bolts you want to make sure you line them all up first before you actually tighten them down completely that way as you're tightening you know that you've got it in the right position okay so these two are pretty good so now we can tighten this back one okay and now we can use the uh, tool and tighten it okay and that's it there we go nice and tight now we just go tighten the ones inside okay now that we've tightened the one in the boot we can just begin to tighten these down nice and snug not too tight you just want it tight enough however make sure it is tight enough because the last thing you want is for the subby to bounce around because you didn't tighten these down enough and believe me you want to make sure you get these down real nice and snug because if you don't and for whatever reason it comes loose it's going to be one hell of a job for you to take everything apart again just to tighten these torque screws down so just make sure you've got them down real tight Okay, it's very snug there. Okay, also do not forget to plug your plug back in. Okay, it only goes in one way. You just have to follow the prongs. There's only what the top part has one tab. Now that just slides in like that. That's it. Simple as that. Okay, now we have to replace the foam bit. Okay, so now to put the foam piece back in. It only goes in one way, guys. So, just make sure you follow the big part for, the big opening for the subby. And that's it. And now, we just have to sit it in. Okay, you just have to fiddle with it a bit. And just make sure you get it underneath this rear panel. Okay, so you want to slide it in like that. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's in. That's pretty good. Just make sure it's all in. And make sure you check that you still have this little foam piece inside that because it acts as a sound deadener. That's what this whole rear foam pad is for. Okay, now from here, we need to get the rear uh, deck back in first. So, and make sure you line it up okay keep it low don't go above you see this on the right side right now you see how the, you have this part here that i'm hitting with the rear deck keep it below that and then just simply slide it over okay i'll show you guys you keep it at this height here and then you just push it in like that and then you will slowly get it back in okay there we go just fiddle with it a bit now this is the most important part after you've got it back in. You have to make sure, and you'll see it, that this here tucks underneath the rear looking speaker. It's not an actual speaker, but it's that rear part that sits over the, the rear brake light. And that's it, okay? There we go. That's in right now. And then, as for this, make sure it sits over it as well, like that. Then you can get the rest in. And as you can see, it all fits in again. And now, for the most complicated part. What I like to do now here is, you see these clips here, okay? You have to line them up in first. So, you'll see the holes for this, for on, on the side of this rear deck. You want to line these up in each hole and then slide them in. And then from there... You have to work on getting these 
in back in its position and what I like to do here is to make it easier I actually take off this white side clip first okay so you actually just push it to one side and you feel it come out okay there you go okay now here's here's this clip that actually sits in here like so so I like to do this so it's easier okay you take the clip out and then you push it into here it only goes in one way the flat side goes in and then you just clip it in this is going to make life a whole lot easier so as you can see from here what I'm actually going to do is line them up now you have to make sure you actually get them in the inserts okay and you'll know when you actually get it in if there we go I'm in now okay now from here you have to lift this up a little bit hold it there you'll know if this is in you'll be able to separate it if you didn't get it in the slots okay now from here you actually have to pull back a little bit push it in towards the outside of the car and then slide it in and there we have it we're in and now all you have to do is push this clip in its rightful place and you're pretty much done just make sure we know where the hole is okay there it is there so slide it in place and now we get this part in we slide it in there we go we're in guys perfect see that wasn't that hard at all was it <laughs> okay now let's do the other side Okay, and there you go. There you have it. It's flush now. So the most important thing when you get this back on is, before you clip this part in, you want to push it as close to the wall as possible and make sure that tab lines up with where it clips in. That the hexagon looking tab. And then you push it as close to the wall as possible and then slide it on. But like I said, it's much easier if you pull out that white plastic tab here and then clip it inside the tab where it goes that way all you have to worry about is sliding it on to get that hexagon piece on and then push this tab in and it will clip into place and that's it now look at that it's perfect okay. and then don't forget to push these clip back into here so how you do this is you take the piece the rubber piece you push the clip back in line it up with the hole and then just push it in then finish it off with the push clip And that's it do the same thing for the other side and you're golden okay now I'm going to show you how to reassemble this whole side area so that you can reassemble everything yourself so first things first this parts really easy it's actually really easy this part guys so I'll just hang this light up here okay now so the first thing we need to do is reattach this side clip. So you want to get that, let me just go grab it. Okay, so you want to line this up on there first. Okay, so you, all you have to do is line it up. Remember, you have your hole here that sits over this little tab right here. See this tab I'm pointing at? So you line it up and sit it over the top. And then from here, this is when you clip in all these clips here on the side. Okay, make sure that they line up. And this is how I do it, guys. I know other people have done it differently and they've disconnected it off the actual plastic. But I don't do that. This is much easier. Okay, now like I said, remember, you have this part here that protrudes. You see this part right here? I'm pointing with my finger it has to sit underneath this so before you put it over the screw make sure that you slide it underneath like so as you can see it's sliding underneath right now there we go now we can sit it on top 
and we can begin to clip on back on all these little clips and this part's really easy I'll actually give you a quick close-up okay so now in order to get these clips back on all you have to do is make sure you lift them up like this and line them up okay so this is all I do line it up like so and then just give it a tap and it's back on line it up right in the center like so oops sorry line it up right in the middle and then to give it a tap and it's back on that's all it is guys and then just follow the same procedure for the rest and it's as simple as that okay and then up here same thing get it in the center this is why I prefer to take it off from here rather than where that is it's just so much easier to get back on you just have to position it okay and get it right in the center lift it over and put it in that's it okay and then once you push it in up the top you just have to install this t20 torque screw back in now we can do the other side and then reinstall the chair and all we have to do after that is reinstall the seal and the side scuff plate and we are done okay so like I said in order to make it easier I'm just going to show you how to do the other side anyway so you grab our side cover and remember we want to put it underneath here so it sits over the top and then we sit it over the screw like so and now from here we need to line up all these clips so that we can clip them in I always use a pick tool that way I can pick it out and then line it up there we go and clip it down and then if it's once you get to the top ones you do the same thing just hold it in the middle pull it out over it and then press it down make sure you're just hitting on the clip don't not hit this side part you don't want to dent it you don't want to dent it okay that's it done perfect straight again now to reinstall the next the other side cushion make sure this part sits inside this white tab here just line it up like so there we go and push it in you hear it click in like that there we go now we get our torque screw again okay so there's a the torque screw right there just make sure all this is out of the way put the torque screw in start it by hand get our driver our socket and there we go okay now from here you just want to line this gold tab up with this white uh, push clip and you want to line it up but then before you push down on it what you need to do is push it towards the back okay so you push it towards the back until it lines up and then you push it down and when you hear it click like that that's how you know it's back in place now we just do the other side real quick push it back towards you push the chair towards the back and then line it up and push down and you hear it click there we go and that's how you know the chair is back in place now I just want to show you guys how to put this back in okay so in order to put this middle panel back in the first thing we need to do is make sure that this part here sits inside here so we want to come in from underneath like so put it in first okay get it underneath like that get the other side in also both sides need to go under it okay so then once you've had this part pushed in we can then begin to do these one two three clips and then we're pretty much almost done just to show you again how I put these clips back on so I line it up make sure it's in the middle of this plastic part here like so let me just show you real quick and then using a pick tool or a screwdriver just line it up over it like so and hit it in that's it 
do the same for the rest same thing so right now it's not lined up so you just want to pull it out line it up in the middle you can pretty much see where it used to be by the markings get it in the middle and then just hit it in there you go just be careful not to hit the metal part however the end of this is actually rubber it's not going to dent it okay and this is the lucky last one so just to show you again we line it up in the middle put it over the top and just hit it down and that's it look at that perfect okay now we've done the front we need to do the back so just like that we did on the front just want to line it up pull it over the clip like so There we go, and then just hit it down. Now, we just need to install the seal again, and that's it. Now, like I said before, you want to make sure that you look at how the seal is, and you're looking for where there's a part that has been cut out, like this here. As you can see, See that part's been cut out right there? So that part is going to sit right here where the scuff plate is. So just make sure you line it up. Remember the thicker part goes on the inside. So just line it up like so. There we go. And press it down. Now when you're putting in this seal, you want to make sure you're putting it in as tight as possible so as you're putting it on you need to make sure that you're pulling it down and as tight as possible while you're installing it you just have to make sure that you install it as tight as possible as close together as possible and then you just tap it in and there you have it there you go and then last but not least the scuff plate now you see where it clips in so this part here sits in there and you just line it up and press it down and then it will just clip back in and there you go just like that and that's the back done now just repeat the same thing on all sides and you are done okay and there we have it guys the finished product everything back together again as you can see everything looks flush nothing is sticking out okay there we go it's all done and as you can see, everything is looking good. Now we just have to give it a good vacuum after touching everything. This side, as you can see, there's the seal. Now, as you can see here, I've just you just have to tap it in so it's really tight in place. And there you go. There you have it. Everything is back in its place perfect again. <laughs>